Right now, Jacksonville police are searching for the gunman who shot this local teen in the chest near his bus stop. 17-year-old Javon Mills is out of surgery tonight. His father is thanking the bus driver who took that teen to a fire station for help. She, thank God, she got my son and took him to a, a fire station. And that they were what really stabilized him to get him here, and that's what saved him because if she wouldn't have did that, he would have died. Some neighbors and parents fear the shooter could return. I'm John Bachman. I'm Tanika Hughes. Action News Jack's Russell Colburn is live on the west side. And Russell, within the last few hours, you spoke to neighbors who tell you they heard the gunshots. Yeah, multiple neighbors around here tell me they woke up to that gunfire around 6 this morning. And police tell us Mills was actually shot down near a senior center down the road, but made it to his bus stop safely where that driver was able to get him help. Tonight, 17-year-old Javon Mills is in a Jacksonville hospital recovering from a gunshot wound to the chest. His father tells Action News Jax he's in ICU and is talking despite the bullet piercing his lungs, stomach, and liver. He hopes to have his son back home with him by tomorrow. A black car rolled up, rolled the windows down, shot him. Point blank. I never in a million years would have thought my son going to school on the bus stop would be shot. But the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office says that's exactly what happened Wednesday morning. Neighbors nearby heard the shots. He woke me up and uh, I just heard a gunshot. Fearing retaliation, some wouldn't show their face. It was a lot of gunshots and helicopters. It's scary because I got kids too. Earlier, we saw JSO camped out near the Lane Wiley Senior Center where this appears to have begun. Tonight, they continue to hunt for the shooter as this local dad struggles to understand who could do this and why. I'm just lost for words. I mean, I don't know what to say about these youths these days, you know. They're throwing their lives away constantly, and I just wish that somebody would talk with them. You're looking live now at a JSO officer near the scene. We've seen them all over this area throughout the night. And coming up in the next hour of news, the questions Mill still has for police and the new detail just confirmed in a police report obtained by Action News Jax. Live on the west side, Russell Colburn, Fox 30, Action News Jax.